What are you doing, madman? You won't believe it. Guess what? It's a red Pathfinder. <laughs> it's not just a red Pathfinder. This is the very same Pathfinder we drove when we were in Napa. This is the same one, the same license plate, the same VIN number. You mean the one that we did a 060 on? Precisa Mundo. And that was at where? Uh, sea level. I remember that. It was 7.76 seconds at sea level. Mm. So I'm gonna bet you it's gonna be two seconds slower. What do you say? No, no, I think it'll be only one second slower. All right, coming up next on the fast lane car, zero to 60 at a mile above sea level. Alright guys, truth be told, we were going to mash this up with Nathan's Durango that he's driving right now, but when we figured out that this car is the identical car that we had in San Fran, there was only one thing to do. That's absolutely right, and it has the same engine as the one in San Francisco. Good old Nissan V6, 260 horsepower, 240 pound-feet of torque, hooked up to a continuously variable transmission, or as you like to say, CVT. All right, Nathan, zero to 60 in the new Pathfinder. You know, every time we get a car that has good gas mileage, it surprises me at how slow it is, so. I, you know, so far, I think this car will surprise. And, and yes, I'm calling it a car. I know you guys say crossover or whatever. Nah, it's a car. It's a big car, but it's a car. Kind of like a fat Maxima. It's like a fat Maxima, baby. <laughs> All right, let's wait for it to reset, and uh, here we reset. go. Here we Ready, go, floor it, yep. Oh, you got some wheel spin there, my man. I might be surprised. This thing's got some boo-boo. CBT goes up to 7,000. There it is. Oh, my. Wow. 7.76. That is... That's impressive, dude. That is as fast as I've seen any vehicle in this class go at high altitude. Seven point seven six. That's the number we got in San Francisco, and I'm saying nine point seven six. And you're saying what? Eight point seven six. All right, let's find out, dude. What are we waiting on? Uh, how about a cup of coffee? Now you don't drink coffee. A beer. A beer. All right, Nathan. Identical car, identical driver. The only difference being that we're five thousand feet higher than when we did this last time. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Go for it. All right, remember, 7.76 was what we got in San Fran. I'm saying 9.76. Go, baby! And... <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> who owes who a beer, my man? Boy, oh boy. I mean, I, I'm mad enough to admit when I've been completely... Guys, 9.72. That's... Basically two seconds slower. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Good job, Roman. Of course it was raining in San Francisco, but you know what? There are too many variables. That's why we always say there is no such thing as a zero to 60 time. Not a perfect one, at least. All right, come back next week when we promise we'll mash up, or is it match up, this Pathfinder with the Durango because they're both 35,000. They both seat up to seven. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we're doing it, dude. We're matching things up now. Oh, dear God, we're changing every time. <laughs> Remember, subscribe for a video every day. See you next time. Nathan, I know this is a Cobra because it says so, but I thought all Cobras were convertibles. Nope, this one was built to race, but the one you're looking at here is a little bit different than the one that actually raced. This is actually a genuine car. You can get in it, drive in it, sit in it all day. The race cars, the Daytonas, were not quite made like this. And here's the interesting part. This bad boy, completely sanctioned by Carroll Shelby, and it's gorgeous. Coming up next on the fast lane car. Nathan, it's, it's okay. I'm good, I'm good. You're good, you're good. Yeah.